So we're at the Geneva International Motor Show 2017 with James Lickenhouse uh, with this amazing car. Now, if you remember, in 2015 we actually did an interview exactly so with, yes. with uh, the car that you had. Well, it then. was this car. It was this car. Yeah, it was this car, which at that time was um, the prototype for a Competizione car, which ran the uh, Nurburgring very successfully. Finished this car finished second overall in a VLN race and a first in class at the uh, 24 hours of Nürburgring. This has run 224 hours. And the thing that we try to do as a company is to make real cars that can stand up to real races. Yes. I mean, you know, you hear people, oh, I'm gonna take my uh, LaFerrari to the Nürburgring. Well, you know, go run 24 hours in it. This car ran it twice. And then from this, it evolved to a little bit more of a Stradale, of a street car, oh, street car. which is, this is our first prototype street car, we just finished it last night, and this has a 4.4 liter twin turbo reverse flow motor. So the turbos are in the V, and you can see the exhaust they come out, they actually work as an aero device, they move air under the wing, and it's a wonderful engine that we can easily make 800 horsepower, 850 newton meters of torque, and the car, with fuel is like 2,600 pounds, so it's it's and it's a very strong car. Sure. So you know, tell us uh, again. Obviously, so the ra the road car is obviously clearly inspired. In fact, it's taken directly from your experience with uh, with the race car. What uh, what sort of other modifications, other than the usual things that you typically would do to make a car road legal, that you had to do to sort of get this car uh, into the hands of a sort of normal person like they You see that that's the key. A lot of people think they want to drive race cars on the road. They really don't. Yeah. I mean, race cars have very stiff suspension, very stiff springs, um, solid mounted suspension, so they really jars you. Yeah. You frankly do not want that on the road. You want a compliant car, rubber bush motor, engine mounts that move, and you also frankly want an interior that's a little more luxurious, a little more sounded. You know, having things like this, this is um, a fitted luggage. Oh, so, wow. So you can go, you can take it with you. And, uh, Makes sense. And of course, I like the small details like the carbon fiber handles. So this is the kind of thing that we tried to do. For, I mean, for 40 years I've been driving race cars yes. on the road. I have some wonderful Le Mans cars. The Ford Mark IV that Donahue and McLaren finished fourth overall at Le Mans. I have the Ferrari P3 IV that Bandini and Amon won the 24 yeah. hours that they told me. But what I've learned from driving those cars is, one, you have to modify the cooling. You don't want it to overheat. You have to make the brakes so that they work when they're cold, not yeah, when no, they're no, over. Yeah. yeah. The other thing that's very important, the most important dimension for driving a car on the street is from the center of the wheel to the tip of the spoiler. Yes. Because if that dimension is too long, you're going to bottom out the car. Every time. You can't get into a driveway and every time. The other thing is this car has front and rear lifters, so if you have to get over a speed bump, you can. And the other thing is making things sacrificial. Yeah. Instead of hitting and destroying your carbon fiber splitter, this is simply an add-on wood bit. Once a year, you can throw it away and we'll send you another one and you put it on. So it's little things like that. And if you notice the difference in the rear, like look at the diffuser, how this one is very aerodynamic, but you can wrap the round so you won't hit it as if you look at the race. See the race one? The race one is more efficient, but the road, you'll destroy that, and also you see the race. <laughs> oh yeah, so that doesn't work. That doesn't, that doesn't work, work on the street. And this is what, you know, people think they want to drive race cars on the road, but they don't. But they really don't. And what I've learned over 40 years is how to make a car that's a spectacular sports car but that you can use. It won't overheat, the air conditioning works, you stick your iPhone in it and the sat-nav comes up on the screen, you want to listen to your tunes, whatever they are, you have them. Um, but it's still very beautiful and elegant, and it's also a thing like the wing. I mean, if you look at the race wing, yeah, the race wing makes more downforce. Yes. But no human being on any road is ever 
you're going to do that, that, that way. This gives you enough downforce, frankly, to get yourself thrown in jail anywhere in the world. And uh, it's very beautiful. Yeah. It's much more, you know, it's much more elegant. So let me ask you a couple of other questions. If you want to go through some of the design details on the car, because obviously the, what the form here obviously follows function. I remember that conversation that we had before. So talk us about how you, the aero, you were talking a little bit about the extractors on the front and the rear. Do you want to just talk to us a little bit about yeah, the, for the sure. management? I mean, it's part. every little detail. For example, these are handed. They spin in different ways to tighten because it's unsafe to have them tight in the same way. So on one side of the car, you want them to tighten always to the rear, and on the other side it does, so they're right and left-handed. But the difference is, when you're changing a tire, you don't want to make a mistake. Yeah. So you know that the red is on the right, it goes uh, on the right side of the car, so if you come over here, gotcha. you see, there you go. Red, okay, so. so you know. The other thing is like simple details that really worked on the race car that we like. These three things, when the engine's on, this tells you the oil level, and this tells you the fuel level. This is the color of the car, so at night when we raced, we would know which car oh, was is. which. So it's like a pit ID. I got you. But it's That's a nice cool. thing, it's so we do feature, it. Yeah. yeah, but this is, you know, you want to check your oil, all you have to do is come out here and count the lights. And if, and if you want to put in oil, you open this, it goes right to uh. the oil. So That's it's very simply, cool. It's, it's, it's very easy to fill. The other thing is managing airflow. This is the air intake for the turbos, and this lets the hot air that's under, under the, the engine, engine out. So it's all form versus function, but very calm, you know, very beautifully done. In the interior, we have the same idea that you have in the race car, where everything is really easy to access on the instrument panel, on this. But the difference is, you want a few more features. You want real air, automatic air conditioning. And what that is, that special paint that glows in the dark when it's hit by UV light. Uh, so you don't need a very bright, bright dashboard to kill your night vision, and you can do that. So you bathe the interior with a very light uh, UV light, it sounds like. And then yeah, you see there's teeny little uh, I see LEDs. light projectors. So they very project cool. from behind your head, so they don't damage your vision or yeah. anything and they just go and they, they give it away. Now the other thing is this, when you drive on the road and you pull this car up to a stoplight, you can't see the red light, because you, you can't. So it was, yeah, oh. that's what those are for. I see. So when you come to the red light, you can look up and you can see. Again, you know, form follows function. Um, let's take, let's take maybe a little bit at the on the interior here, because I yes. like what you've sort of done. So just talk to us. A well, little bit you know, more. the first thing is, is like making stuff like this. This is a briefcase that comes out, so you can just, it's held on by magnets. You you take it off, you peer. Hold this for a second, I'll show you. It's, um... Oh, that is awesome. Magnets, hold it on. You know, you can take it with you. Now these, here's the thing. You have the very big dashboard, because I really think you don't want to get distracted and have to swim. And you can make it so all you see is the tack. You can make it, you can, you have different settings so you can see the tack, the speedometer, whatever you want. And you don't have to worry about the oil pressure, water temperature, unless you need to know. Yeah. So the, the car will turn it on when you need to know if you don't, or if you want a standard one, and if you want that whole screen to be navigation, it can be navigation. You can Great. scroll through the menus. Now, you've also just said to me that this is the steering wheel that shifts with the car. Yes, um, this is the uh, road, road legal, legal steering wheel. It has the factory uh, traction control and ABS settings. Now, if you know what you're doing and you want to go to the track and uh, be a little bit more fine tuning, we can sell you a steering wheel that's not road legal, but then you can put it on and it can access and you can fine tune some of the track, features, yeah, some of the track fe features of it. So um, again, I, I noticed here, beautiful, lots of exposed carbon fiber. It's a carbon fiber uh, tub, right? The whole thing. The entire car is the, carbon fiber. The, the, Everything the, is carbon fiber. The tub, fiber. the front subframe, the rear subframe, the yes. whole car is carbon fiber. That's what gives it the lightweight. The other thing is we kept some of the uh, racing emergency things. Like yeah. you see that, if you got in a crash and you went upside down, you could push those and buttons and the, the door, door comes off. Great. So, and these are like little touches. Like that was 
that vent originally was from a Renault. Yeah. And Ferrari used it in the P4, and so we, I always, as an homage to that, duplicated it. Yeah. And then there's a little one that we made. And we just tried to make it, you know, it's yeah. very hard to make an interior that looks yeah. different. And this one, our idea was to make it kind of architectural. Yes. So you really have negative is. spaces, and when you see it through here, you see the, uh, you know, the floating part yeah. of, of, of the, the carbon yeah. fiber. Now, the other thing I noticed, and you mentioned it to me earlier, that you retained portions where you could actually put, it, uh, yes. put your roll cage. Yes, this is, the, uh, this is the structural roll bar through the car, and then you would remove these remove before a race, and then you could put in the, uh, you could put in the roll cage. Very nice. So we tried to do, um, you know, little things like that. And we have different um, options where you could have that covered where you don't see it, or if you want it a little more racy, you can leave it racy so you can it out. So we find two. Well, James, thank you so much. Oh, Once again, the it's car is you. absolutely beautiful. Um, you know, I, I, so far, and again, we haven't seen everything else, but I love this car. And the mere fact that this will be on the road is unbelievable. This is really a testament. Uh, to your commitment and obviously based on your experience before it's really awesome to but, see. But this is important. I mean a lot of people will tell you it's road legal. I mean look at this. This is really New York State. Yeah. This is really that registered. Is Here hold this one yeah. second and I'll show you. And this is I mean that's a real VIN number. Yeah. So <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh wow yeah. Yeah. So I mean yeah, this car is really road legal. Wow. That is just awesome.